Next, let us discuss how the junction diode and zener diode's characteristics are studied. The circuit diagram shows the PN junction diode whose anode is connected to the milliammeter and the cathode through the resistance to the power supply. A voltmeter is also needed to measure the voltage. The apparatus is shown here. You can see the PN junction diode here. You can see a white color ring there, small white band. That shows the cathode or the negative terminal. And the black body is the anode. All the interconnections are given along with the resistance in this model and then by switching on the PN junction diode we are activating it. Let us first switch on the power supply and then switch on the board supply. Initially the voltage in the voltmeter is kept at 0.1 volt by moving over two divisions in the scale because 10 divisions correspond to 0.5 two divisions will correspond to 0.1 volt correspondingly what is the reading on the milliammeter which is 0 it has not registered any current therefore it is 0 this is entered in the table column. So the voltage is 0 0.1 volt and the current is 0. We have to know where is the voltage in increasing steps of 0 0.1 volt until we reach the maximum which is either 0 0.7 or 0 0.8. Each time the forward current or the current in the diode is noted down. <coughs> Now we are changing it over to 0 0.2 volts, 4 divisions correspond to 0 0.2, the current is once again 0. For 0 0.3 we are moving over by 2 more divisions, the current is still 0. For 0 0.4 The current is 0 8 again. This shows that the, the diode is not yet ready to function, it is not yet registering any current. We have kept 0 0.5 volts. Once again, 0 is the current in the IF. Now we change it to 0 0.6. All the time, we have to increase the voltage in this knob here. And there is a slight increase in the milliammeter reading that is IF reading not yet registering any current though. Now we change it to 0 0.7 now. Now you can see that there is enough current in the diode. I am going to note it down as 6 milliamperes because the pointer shows two divisions after 5 and each division corresponds to 0.5 in this scale. So it is 6 milliamperes and the next for 0.75 the current is almost 15 milliamperes. We will enter these two. up to 0 0.7 it's 0 and for 0 0.7 volt it is 6 milliamperes and for 
zero point seven five. It is fifteen milliamperes. So eight readings are enough to draw the graph. Therefore, we move on to the next one, namely the characteristics of the zener diode. The symbol for zener diode is slightly different. and you can see here the zener diode is connected in the reverse bias the positive of the battery is connected to the cathode of the diode this is called reverse bias once again the voltage is are changed and corresponding to that the current is measured now we move over this knob to the zener diode side and then keep the voltage in the zener diode as 0. zener diode as 1 volt let's see just 1 volt it's not 0. 1 volt because you can see here 10 divisions correspond to 2 volt therefore 5 divisions will correspond to 1 volt so we are keeping 1 volt in the di zener diode the current is zero <coughs> let's move over to 2 volts the current is yet again zero now for 3 volts zero 4 volts zero 5 volts again zero now something unique happens to the zener diode now and as move it over you can see here as i move the knob as i roll the knob the voltmeter reading is not increasing beyond 5.2 volts it's keeping steady at 5.2 volts but the current has now risen to 10 milliamps Let me increase the voltage once again. You can find out that the voltage is still 5.2 volts, but the current has now increased to almost 15 milliamps. Initially it was 10, now it is 15. Now let me increase further. We find out that the voltage is still keeping at. it is almost 5.4 even in the earlier cases it was not 5.2 there was a mistake you can see here that the voltage is almost steady at 5.4 volts each time but the current is now 25 milliamps initially it was 10 later it was 15 now it is 25 for all these in three different current values the voltage is 5.4 so this is the unique feature of a zener diode which is what makes it as a voltage regulator let us enter them in a slightly different way apart from what is given in the manual so we keep 1 volt initially and then 2 volts 3 4 volts but now after 5 it is 5.4 each time until it reaches 5.4 the current is always zero now for 5.4 initially we remember it's 10 milliamps later it was 15 and finally it was 25 so that the current increases even as the voltage does not vary so that's the voltage regulating constant voltage maintaining ability of the zener diode which is what is useful in making a power pack so this is the zener diode as you can see here it's a red color diode the red color body is the anode and the black color band is the cathode it's connected in the reverse bias manner as opposed to the junction diode which is connected in the forward bias mode 